Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Shinsey, and this is Super Mario Let's Play 64. That was jumbled up. Oh, anyway, Mario was sleeping at the beginning of the episode because I had to go away for a while. Um, but in this episode, we are going to stare at the sun. What? What? Ah! Wings! Welcome to the Wing Cap Course! Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the centre of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all of the red blocks you find will become solid. Try out the wing cap. Do the triple jump to take off and press Z to land. Pull back the, the control stick to go up and push forward to nose down, just as you would when flying an aeroplane. Now, how many people have flew an aeroplane? Anyway, this is actually pretty easy, I believe, to do. Um, this is the alternate method to... Oh, missed it. If you miss one, you might as well just die because it's incredibly hard to so, well to turn around get it and then turn around back again and that speech bubble at the very beginning of the game of the course doesn't exactly help but it appears every time does it yeah it does uh, okay so what you need to try and do is follow the yellow coins no matter how slow you go and just collect the red coins as you go past them obviously because then it will well, you don't have to turn around, and turn around is incredibly hard. And you go slowly, faster and faster, so it gets harder. You can just point the control stick up to slow down, but you'll also gain out. No! You'll also gain altitude. And I'm going to try and turn around and get these. I'm probably not going to succeed. Well, I... Okay, I succeeded doing that, but can I now turn around properly? Yes, I can. Okay, <laughs> um, now I'm gonna... Be careful! The wing cap does eventually run out, and you will fall to your impending doom. Don't worry though, you don't lose a life, or I'd have already only had three lives. You just fall back to that area. So, really, getting... I mean, having to turn around isn't an option. You need to do this in one straight run, or you're either gonna... Um, just miss the coins and fall, or just fall anyway. So, you need to do this in one straight run. Incredibly annoying. Yet yeah, not really that difficult, I suppose. Just annoying. Alright, by the looks of it, I'm going to do it here, because there's only these two left. Of course, I messed it up on the last two. Okay, because it's the last two, though, I should manage to... Uh... Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? And uh, no, I am not. Anyway, I'm just gonna show off this switch now. Um, you press it, and you stepped on the wing cap switch. When the wing cap, you can soar through the sky. Now, wing caps will plop, pop or out of all the red blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes, please. Um, okay, so these, uh, what used to be invisible red blocks are now, um, visible. And you just have to do a triple jump to start flying. And I believe I can't even get these. No, I can't. Okay, I'm going to die and try again. And I'm I'm actually going to cut out this time until I actually get the star. Because it's just going to be boring. You watch me try it again. Okay, I have now succeeded in getting the coin. Only took me one attempt after that, actually. But still. Um, I said coin, didn't I? I mean star. Anyway, because I've already pressed the red switch, um, block, no, the red switch, not the block, I can just collect the star, and I don't know how many coins are in there, I'm supposing 80, but I'm not sure. Anyway, third world, third world, what is the third world? Um, either in that room up down there, or that room up there. I'm going to go with the room down here, because I'm trying to do the worlds in order. It will be cut out at this point if, um... If it turns out this is the wrong world. So I'll find out quick enough anyway. Reacting to star power, the door slowly opens. Okay, that was the wrong room. Wrong course. Um, okay. This is the right room then. Um, both needing three stars. Quite easily, you can see I've got 17. And this is actually probably the... Um, well, this is the most calming world. It's an underwater world, which I know loads of people absolutely hate. But, it's still so calming because of the music. Course 3, Jolly Roger Bay. Which I believe... Oh! Plundering the sunken ship, that's an interesting. Jolly Roger Bay. 
Do you know, this is why in my Banjo 2 Let's Play, I always get confused about what the name of Jolly Rogers Lagoon is. In that game, it's Jolly Rogers Lagoon. In this one, it's Jolly Rogers Bay. Anyway, the music here is so calming. You can literally enter this world and just sit there for 10 minutes listening to it. Just so calming. And I'm going to be quiet for a bit just so you can hear it. Anyway, back to the commentary here. What you need to do is go right to the far end of the map and go down to this sunken ship. And I have no idea how this actually works, but you need to get the eel out of hiding. And can I do it? Come on. No! Um, your power gauge is your air. And if you see it get on red, go up or try and find some coins, which is probably my best bet here. Uh, coins. Coins. Oh wait, there's coins over here, here. Coins. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, no. Eel. Come on out, eel. Oh. Hey. The um, hit box for the eel is incredibly annoying because it doesn't even look as if you've hit it, but yet you still hit it. It's strange. Anyway, I'm just going to demonstrate the gaining power as you touch the surface of water. It, it acts as it, your air box, so I suppose it does make sense. Just go, dip your head over the top, and you still have power. Don't jump out like I did at first by accident, or it will just you just won't gain health. You've got to go back under and... Oh! The eel came out as I was up there. Of course. Down there, the eel. Maybe it's just a case of waiting for it to come out then, but I, th I think I remember actually waiting for five minutes and it didn't come out. I don't know. I have no idea how that eel comes out. Try tempting it, try waiting for it. I just don't know. Anyway, I cannot quite remember what to do here. Oh, okay, I remember now. Open the chest in the right order. Number one. Uh, is this the number two? Come on. Nope, number two is wrong. You get electrocuted if it's the wrong one. And you've got to start all over again. Luckily, though, it gives you oxygen as each chest opens, so it's not as if it really does um, pain you that much, the electricity. So that's number two. Does that mean this one's number three and I chose number four as number two by accident? Yep, it does. I chose number four as number two. Shows my memory of the game. Um, okay, so once you've done all four, just try and swim up here as much as possible so you don't have to jump up these edges. Try and get on top of one of the platforms though, like I'm up on top of this one and as soon as oxygen reaches me and I go down, I'm on this platform so I don't have to climb up as much. Just watch that, I'm going to fall off or something. I just know I am. Wow, I didn't. Anyway, you need to get to the very top and once you've done this you cannot get out of the sunken ship without collecting the star. That's the only way you can get out of the sunken ship now you've sunk in the water. How does that even work anyway? The ship's supposed to have a massive hole in it, you flood all the water out, but the water's there in the outer world anyway. Oops, sorry, I just kicked something. Um, so, I don't get how that works. Anyway, now for level 2. Can the eel come out to play? It's basically exactly the same as last time, just now the, fog's is, the fog is cleared up. I actually forgot to mention that there's fog um, all over the place in the first core, well, level. And the second difference is, as you can see in the background over there, the ship is raised out of the water. That's probably what happened. You, uh, press, you open them chests and the ship raised itself. It still doesn't make sense, but I suppose it makes more sense. Like, right, this is just creepy. <laughs> Please tell me I haven't got hiccups again. No, not like episode 5, please. Alright, it looks creepy going down here because of how deep it is. Oh god, I've got hiccups. Hey, anyway. Now, go to the eel, and this one's... See, the hitbox is so bad, yet I just went through the eel's mouth. Alright, this one's easier because it, well, it's easier to get the eel out. And also, all you need to do is swim up as soon as you see the tail and start come out and touch the star, and then the star comes off the eel's tail, and you just have to swim down to collect it. One of the easier stars in this course. That was star number two, so now it's number three, and that one took me only two minutes. Um, yeah, 
This game is quite fast at first. Later on, though, it gets so hard and slow. Uh, anyway, Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Now this. This is probably my favourite of this course, because I can actually remember it the best. Um, there is, actually, I think there's actually a shortcut I could take to somewhere over there faster. No, 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 that's in the DS version. Um, in the DS version there's a shell you can use to surf on top of the water, because them shells, which was in course 1, you can also surf on top of the water, like the running shoes in Banjo 2 -way. Um, anyway. This hole, you saw me try and collect air, well, coins, from earlier. One up appears if you go anywhere near the circle of coins, but if you actually go into it, there's a cave, as it says, and it's actually free of water. Stops here, and you can just go in. Now, looking back always looks really cool to me. It's just like, I don't know, the wall just goes down into the water. I just think that looks cool. I don't know why. I really don't. Anyway, be careful of that. The pillars fall, and it can easily kill you. Anyway, if I remember right, other than the Goombas, yep. Here is the way you collect the 100 coins of this world easily. A blue pad. Blue coin pad. Just activate that, and you see I had 5 coins originally. Um, for that Goomba. I now have 35. It gives you 30 coins of the 100 you need. It's incredibly useful. Oh, I am running out of time here, so I better hurry up. Um, okay, these chests, this is how you get the star. Do that one. That one. That one. And then this one. I have not looked that up or anything. It is the easiest combination to remember ever. Other than maybe the Legend of Zelda Deku Tree thing. That's quite easy to remember as well. 23 is number one. Mm. Anyway, that's the star. And probably the end of this video. So... I bid you all farewell. Bye.